Well, you may know our next guest as the god of fuck, the Antichrist superstar, or just plain old Marilyn Manson. Earlier this year, he released one of his finest albums, The Golden Age of the Grotesque. And uh, when asked to describe the taste of this record by a fan on his website, Mr. Manson said, it tastes like caviar, sperm, dirt, chocolate, blood, and absinthe. Hmm. I said all that? Yeah. All right. That seems pretty accurate. That's the taste I have in my mouth right now. That's the taste in your mouth right now. Yeah. It's, it, it actually reads like uh, what people would expect to be on a Marilyn Manson writer. Is it as uh, decadent as that? No, it's not too. It's not too bad. I, the absence is the most important thing. Uh, I was recently reading a book besides Alice in Wonderland, which I told you, Jabberwocky, uh, about the virtues of absence, that it is good for fatigue and nausea and things like that. You might, you know, develop epilepsy and cut off your ear, but uh, it does have some good good qualities to it. It seems to have become the, uh, the kind of trendy thing to drink now. Yeah, a lot of people drink the uh, tourist version of it, but I, I like to get mine from France, where it's, uh, or from Spain. Uh, those are the two places where they've kept it traditional, kept it good. And uh, it's an artist drink, because it doesn't get you drunk as much as it gets you into a place where you can really tap into parts of your brain that normally shouldn't be or normally aren't tapped into and that's some of the inspiration for the record, some of the performances, some of the videos, some of the things that I've done, you know, in this whole past two years. And so the new record is uh, almost every single song is incredibly anthemic. It's almost like, uh, uh, for want of a better description, uh, industrial hip hop. Is there is there one song that Marilyn Manson fans have responded to the best? One of the new songs? <clears throat> it seems like no matter where we've gone in the world, this is the new shit, which is the you know the current single that's out. Before it was even a single, people would sing along to it because it's a the most ironic song on the record because it's an indictment of pop music and it's satirical in that, in that whole context, but it itself is sort of a catchy sing-along, uh, almost nonsense in a way, but it's you know making fun of the nonsense that we put into pop music. The record was created, um, you know, hopefully in the spirit of expressionism, which is where I took the inspiration from the 20s and 30s because that's when that type of artwork was created when people would take things from the imagination or the grotesque and put them into reality and that's really kind of the definition of grotesque something that doesn't exist in nature you know over the years people have twisted it into something else so that's that's part of what the album is about the record was created in a very sound and vision type of way where Ideas came from dreams, you know, musical elements were created from visual ideas and vice versa, and it just kept going back and forth. So when we made the video for Mob Scene, for example, all of the elements in it were the visual elements that inspired writing the song, so making the video was easy. 